uh, switching from 5W30 to 15W40 oil in your engine is like swapping out the ingredients in an ancient family recipe. Um, yes, it's all oil, but the differences matter. Uh, the numbers represent the oil's viscosity, the thickness, if you will. Um, and it's not just a trivial change. Uh, uh, whatever is more than just a blend of numbers. And um, it's designed for specific temperatures, um, ensuring your engine runs smoothly in cold starts um, while providing adequate protection at higher temps. Um, it's like dressing for Portland's unpredictable weather um, layers for cold, cool breezes in mind. Uh, the, uh, now, 15W40 is generally used in diesel engines and heavy duty trucks. Um, it's thicker, especially um, in cold weather, meaning your engine might struggle to circulate it during Portland's uh, frosty mornings. And uh, imagine trying to sip a milkshake through a stir straw uh, frustratingly slow, uh, choosing 15W40 instead of 5W30 isn't just a, a casual decision, and it's not recommended for newer engines crafted with precise tolerances. Um, these engines thrive on thinner oils, just like athletes thrive on tailored gear for optimum performance, and uh, don't stunt growth. Um, a key pain point here is engine wear and tear. Uh, Thicker oils may not flow as swiftly, potentially leading to increased friction and less effective lubrication when your car most needs it. Uh, more friction, more wear. Uh, that simple. Uh, could this blow your head gasket? Not exactly. Um, a thick oil like 15W40 is unlikely to outright cause such dramatic engine failure, but it might contribute to other issues over time that combined with other factors could lead to severe damage. Um, one aspect often overlooked is fuel economy. Um, thicker oil means the engine needs to work harder, uh, consuming more fuel. Uh, now, who wants to see those MPG numbers drop and trip costs climb? Uh, no, Portlander appreciates uh, more gas station stops on the way to Cannon Beach. Uh, step by step, if you've already added 15W40, consider minimizing damage with an oil change. Uh, it's like reversing a, a, a wardrobe malfunction quickly and um, take it to your local mechanic and switch back to the proper grade. Um, you'll extend the life of your engine that way. Uh, for the DIY enthusiasts, uh, check your oil levels regularly and listen closely for any unusual sounds or performance dips. Um, the car is speaking to you in its unique way. Um, trust me, you don't want to ignore uh, a wailing banshee under the hood. Um, pro tip, consult your vehicle's manual before playing mix and match with engine oil. Uh, doing so might seem mundane, but guidance from the one who crafted your engine holds unparalleled wisdom. Uh, they know your engine's secrets and preferences better than anyone. Uh, another angle? warranty issues, uh, switching to an incorrect oil could void your vehicle's warranty. Uh, uh, manufacturers specify in oil type for uh, reasons beyond selling your brand. Uh, they design engines with precise tolerances requiring specific oil grades for peak function. Um, uh, ultimately, when in doubt, uh, consult experts. Uh, a quick call or visit to a professional um, could save thousands in repairs. Um, the benefits of peace of mind far outweigh any costs incurred uh, because the last thing you need is engine trouble on a rainy Portland day. Uh, um, think of engine oils as the lifeblood of your car. Um, keep it consistent, keep it clean, and keep it correct. Avoiding unnecessary risks today can prevent headaches tomorrow. Um, nobody wants to be stranded looking for a mechanic when um, you should be on the road living life.